All right, raise your hands. I will get you the mic. John, is there an update on Vladdy? Yeah, right knee discomfort. Uh, he's going to head for an MRI, um, see what's going on. But uh, after we see that, see how it feels tomorrow. Um, hopefully good news, obviously. John, it looked like a lot of the uh, conversations uh, continued into the game about the coaches' boxes, et cetera. What went into those? How do you feel about it? Um, yeah, I think, you know, what happened, you know, Pete was probably, you know, more playfully than anything saying, I'm watching you. And um, probably all heard that, but uh, Rojas kind of took ex uh, exception to it. Um, you know, it's two competitive teams. It's, uh, you know, you're not pleased with the way everything is shaking out the last 24 hours, right? And I think it's just people being competitive and, um, you know, Rojas responded how he did and we responded how we did. John, what was, uh, what was your sense of Herman early and what, uh, when he ended up getting ejected, did you guys have a sense that something might have been up there? Obviously, there's a bit of history there, too, with him earlier this season. Yeah, I mean, it's, um, it's unfortunate that that happens, you know, I think just for the sport, for the game. And, um, you know, unfortunately, you know, he had, he had good stuff the first you know, time through the order. I think it was nine up, nine down. Um, good curveball. And... Uh, you know, it's you know not the first time that's happened, but you know, to each their own. And I thought we had opportunities to capitalize against their bullpen. You know, Witt had a good at bat with the bases loaded, and uh, you know, probably didn't do as much as we should have. You know, in the middle innings there. But as far as that, you know, it's um, I'll let I'll let Domingo worry about that in the next ten days. John, with, uh, with Gosman today, um, especially in the middle, he had to take a long break in that inning that went long. Uh, what did you see from him overall and also bouncing back from that to give you a bit more length? Yeah, I mean, credit to him. He sat there for about a half hour, and he was kind of throwing a little bit down in the tunnel. <clears throat> Uncharacteristic out of him, I think bottom of the order did some damage against him. And, uh, you know, give them credit for having some pretty good at-bats. But, you know, I thought Gos was really good. Um, fastball command was a little bit spotty for him early, um, but he was, you know, holding his velo, holding his stuff. And, um, you know, ended up being a really good outing for him. It seems like we have a tough time scoring whenever he's on the mound. But um, it's just kind of another typical outing from Kev. Both sides had a few chats with the umpire going into the bottom of the third. The ump came into the dugout to talk to you. What was said? Oh, he was just saying, let me take care of where everyone's standing, you know, which is, which is great. You know, I think, again, um, competitive environment, you know, things get said and, and people say things that, you know, they may or may not regret, but, you know, it was just James saying, I'll, I'll make sure that everyone's where they should be. Uh, just getting back to Vlad really quickly, was, was that knee bothering him at all before tonight, or did that just come up on that play? No, a little point? bit. He felt a ball of his knee yesterday. You know, you probably saw that, but I think it was, it hasn't been bothering him. Um, I think it's just one of those things kind of came in weird on the bunt there and, and kind of grabbed him a little bit. So hopefully it's nothing serious, and, and um, he's back in there pretty quickly. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.